Hi, my name is uh, Domogoj. I work as an IT project manager at Transcom Tech Hub in Zagreb. My name is Aaron Bodin. I work as a process improvement specialist as part of the CTO office. I uh, am not employed with the Tech Hub, but rather to its extension of our headquarters in Stockholm. Transcom Tech Hub uh, is a place where all the tech guys work together and uh, hang out. The Tech Hub is the place where most of our great talent uh, work from and contribute from when it comes to various IT software and implementation projects across Transcom. We work on uh, different categories of projects, some concerning um, web development, some are AI. I came to the, to the Trans, to the Tech Hub uh, to work on this kind of new and exciting projects. So a hackathon is typically where you group a bunch of people together in uh, one venue or online. You are set to complete a task uh, that typically revolves around uh, programming or prototyping uh, within a uh, given time frame. The output is supposed to uh, show value or just to, you know, toy around with technology to, to find new things. The goal of the hackathon is to create a working software or a working prototype by the end of the hackathon and to present a solid uh, technical solution and a, and a solid business case application um, in the, inside the topic that was, that was given. Uh, so the idea to join the Google Hackathon started by Google themselves. Uh, it was an invite-only event, so they uh, offered us an invitation uh, to join as a team. Uh, they reached out to Aaron, who reached out to all of us. Uh, a big, a big, uh, a big role in this entire story was played by Sandra, who recognized this as an opportunity. And even though she was on vacation, she organized and. Uh, put us all together and uh, send us going for, for Sweden. It was really a last minute invite from our partners at Google in Stockholm, where they were inviting us to a uh, one, two hour workshop around their new generative AI products to be followed by a few hours of a uh, very densely packed hackathon where we uh, were supposed to use the um, products they made available to us and show uh, some value out of it. So the experience being at Google is always something extra, at least to me. Uh, you have a fancy building, uh, very fancy interior, a lot of cool tech. You can really feel that within those vo uh, walls, a lot of innovation takes place. We came uh, at Google and they like introduced us, um, explained the topic themselves, and there were a lot of teams there. Uh, some of them were like wearing uh, other big tech company hoodies and uh, had like enormous machines and computers. So we were like, okay, these guys will probably win this and, and take it home with them. A lot of great people great-minded people, differently-minded people, but that are, all, that are all there to uh, get something productive or beneficial out of the information shared. The night before, we were up until I don't know how late in the hotel lobby and um, making sure we have everything prepared to, try to actually do the work uh, at the hackathon itself. So when we came there, we saw a lot of teams had already uh, also prepared. So we created Ada, uh, named after Ada Lovelace, the, the first programmer. And uh, how she works is uh, that we create a persona, uh, a real customer that has a certain issue. This issue can be from any category from a, from a customer service perspective. So she could ask a refund, she could 
uh, ask for uh, for a sales call or she could just complain about something. So ex essentially what happens is that the agent is uh, able to, uh, to dial a number who will then be speaking to Ada that we have programmed to randomly ask questions so be open or less open to sales opportunities. The agent practices their script and at the end of the call we assess uh, again using AI the uh, capabilities of the agent in terms of you know uh, simple things as opening, uh, closing, making sure you're polite but also how successful you were in pitching the product you were supposed to be pitching towards Ada. There are different uh, personas that uh, that we can create here but this specific persona that we created for the hackathon was a sales call. This persona was named Riley who was uh, calling a fictional company called uh, Megaspeed Internet and was asking to change his internet package and our our job as a, as an agent in training was to sell, sell him the best package. So we can just there are a couple of ways we can railroad this conversation uh, act uh, make him act as we want to or we can have it really dynamic and uh, uh, have something happen that we don't expect uh, and this is how we did it attention simulation start please say hi how can i help you today hi my name is aaron from mega speed internet and i was wondering if i can borrow a few minutes of your time sure i'd be glad to listen to what you have to say all right, so given if my information is correct, you are located in the greater Chicago area, is that correct? That's correct. I'm based in Chicago. Fantastic. Then I have a great offering for you. I've heard mixed things about Megaspeed's customer service. What can you tell me about that? Uh, five star ratings throughout. I, I know there have been some dips and sometimes we don't answer the phone and sometimes, well, uh, it's all rumors. It's it's fantastic. Shall we, uh, I, I, uh, let's let's go ahead and close this order. I'm not sure I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> the second part of ADA, which is the real business use case, uh, is the analytics part. So the agent can train, but uh, the agent has to be scored in the end. The trainer needs to see how he went with the on-call training. And there is a certain kind of metrics that uh, track these uh, scores. So we took all of these metrics, we took the transcript of the call and just measured them up. So um, this way the trainer uh, can see how the agent did, uh, how he passed or how he failed and uh, where he went wrong and where he went right. So essentially it's a little platform that allows agents to train on their self and uh, experience uh, something very close to a actual phone call. So winning a hackathon like this is of course uh, something that uh, at least me personally is very proud of. There was uh, some some tough competition, if you were to call it that. This kind of victory certainly means a lot. Uh, it's a big recognition for the work we've done, for uh, for everything that led up to this. And of course, a big uh, shout out goes to the entire team who supported us through the entire process. Uh, however, I think what we managed to, to put together was something that everyone could really appreciate and understand how it would be adding value which i think also made us fair winners in that sense i hope this also means a lot to to transcom and uh, to the entire tech hub uh, because uh, this way we can show that uh, it's a serious engineering company and there is a serious engineering team working there and with the uh, collaboration and the partnership uh, we have with Google and their team of engineers. I hope we can put ourselves on the map as a, as a tech hub and uh, as an engineering company. So within Transcom, of course, the reactions have been great. Uh, right after the, the announcement, we had some, some colleagues cheering us on on chat and, and various email threads throughout the weekend. So the reaction to this was extremely positive and for me really surprising. 
So when you work in a corporation with more than 30,000 people, uh, you expect things to go unnoticed and that you're a small part of it. But uh, I think we really like sent uh, some some waves through the company and that everybody um, recognized this. And uh, the second, you know, you share information like this, there is this, it's encouraging because people want to know more. They want to figure out how this can actually be applied and what are the next steps in terms of turning this in, you know, from a prototype into something that can actually, you know, add value uh, on the ground. The takeaway that I got from this experience is that uh, work is really rewarded and uh, I don't know, it motivates me to push even harder. My takeaway and experience from this is when you're able to put people together in a room with different skill sets and allowing them to work together closely uh, with a given sort of timeline, a lot of good things come out of it. You need to be humble and uh, understand that not everything will be done perfectly first time around. But uh, having all of all our different disciplines in that same place is something that I would really encourage to do more in projects going forward, large or small, uh, software or not. Uh, but I think it's it's something we can we can we would all benefit more from from doing more. Uh, I would also like to say that I'm grateful uh, for being able to work as a as a software engineer in this team uh, on Hackathon. Uh, because this is not what my role entails usually, but um, this was the opportunity that I was given and uh, yeah. I am super grateful that Transcom is giving us this opportunity to explore, to, to toy around, to play around. I don't think there was any expectations, expectations set on us beforehand in terms of going in or winning or showing off our skills or anything like that. Um, but of course, that, that made the whole experience much more, uh, even more fun, I would say. So um, be it a hackathon or not, I think what I would like to advise you all, all my colleagues, is to, when you find the time, play around a bit, toy around a bit, tinker a bit, because something really cool can come out of it. And don't be shy of sharing it with others, because we are a lot of people with a lot of great brain power that together can achieve really awesome stuff.